Hey everybody, Don Georgievich here, Job and Tools. So, a question I get all the time is, how do you anticipate the questions that they're going to ask you? Because, well, they don't always ask you what you think that they're going to ask you. So, how do you know? I mean, you can search all over the internet, you can find all kinds of questions. I even have a whole book of them over here, the Complete Interview Answer Guide. Tons of questions in here, but are these the ones that they're going to ask you is the question. Yes, they're going to ask you some of those. They're going to ask you, you know, tell me about yourself. They're going to ask you your weaknesses, your strengths. Why do you want to work here? So, but what are the other ones? What are the other questions that they're going to ask you? What are the experience questions that they're going to ask you in a panel interview? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but I'll tell you how to find them. All right, so you know what a panel interview is, right? That's where you get invited into a company and you sit down with maybe four or five other interviewers. It can be as few as three, but it's usually between three and six. And that's a panel interview. They're the panel and they're interviewing you and they're going to ask you a lot of questions. Now, depending on the length of the interview is going to determine how many questions they can ask you. Now, a common interview frame for a panel interview is sometimes 45 minutes. So, you think about it, there's only so much, so many questions that they can ask you in a 45 minute window. Maybe, maybe they can get off eight to 10 questions if they're lucky. Eight to 10 questions. So, which ones? The best way to anticipate the questions that they're going to ask you is to grab a copy of that job description. Print it out, don't just look at it on the screen, but print it out and go through it line by line. Get yourself some different colored highlighters, highlighters, pens, whatever, and go through it several times and try to find out the areas that are most important to them. Look for the, look for the things that they start repeating. Like maybe they say the same thing, but they say it three different ways. That means it's important to them. So go through line by line, highlight all the key areas that are important to them, and then start thinking about questions around those areas because that's what they're going to touch on. Because when they express themselves so deeply in the job description and they keep repeating things, those are problem areas for them. Those are areas of importance. And they're looking for people with those skills or those qualities or that experience. And what you want to do, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a roadmap, it's a blueprint to the questions that they're going to ask you in the interview. And then all you have to do is just think about, oh, well, this is important to them. Think about questions around that. Think about your experience, how your experience has prepared you to solve some of the problems that they have. And then you're golden. You are golden. You'll be able to answer anything that comes your way. It, it re, and you really won't even have to prepare for specific questions because once you start thinking about all of their problems, all of their pain points, all of their struggles, all of their goals, and you align your experience to that, you're, you're gonna, you've, you've answered every, you're in a position to answer every question that they could possibly ask you. It's as simple as that. So before your next interview, Print that job description. That's the blueprint. That's your golden ticket. That's got all the details. Go through it line by line and pick out all the pain points. Figure out questions around that. That's it. That's all they're doing. Seriously. That's all the employer is doing. That's why they wrote that job description. That's a reflection of what they feel and what they're looking for. And they're going to ask you questions that are going to uh, Help them determine whether you can meet their needs or not. It's as simple as that. Now, before your next interview, make sure that you grab a copy of the Complete Interview Answer Guide. It's an easy download from jobinterviewtools.com. It's like 47 bucks. It's an ebook. Um, you can get the hard copy if you want. It's also available in audio and video. It's going to teach you how to answer all of those questions that they're going to ask you. Now, they're not going to ask you every question in this book. The, it happens sometimes, but not all the time. But you're probably going to get 30 to 50% of the questions they ask you are going to come right from this book. The other, you know, uh, 30, 40% of the questions are going to come from the job description. So, when you have this book and you have the job description, you pretty much have 80 to 90% or more of the questions that they're going to ask you. And then it's just a matter of you preparing, a matter of you aligning 
your experiences to their needs and demonstrating that you're a capable individual and that you can go in there and work and you can solve their problems. That's how you do it. So grab a copy of the Complete Interview Answer Guide before your next video. It's going to help you go farther. It's going to help you with phone interview. It's going to help you with the panel interview. It's going to help you when they offer you the job. And it's going to help you with the negotiation. So good luck on your next interview and I will see you in the next video. Bye now. If you're ready to ace your next interview, then don't leave anything to chance. You can't just show up for a job interview and expect to nail it. You know that. You have to give yourself an advantage. So if you'd like to learn more from me than this video, then I encourage you to grab a copy of the Complete Interview Answer Guide and prepare yourself to answer interview questions the right way. Inside, you're getting my 20 years of interviewing and hiring experience. And I'll teach you what you need to say to employers so they want to hire you. So if it's been a while since your last job interview or you have an interview today, don't spend countless hours figuring out this stuff. Instead, let me take you by the hand and show you how, right now. When you order your copy from JobInterviewTools.com, you're supporting my channel, my message, and job seekers all over the world. And you're getting a book that has already helped over a million people get hired for their number one job. You'll also get direct email access where you can ask me questions and get my personal take on your situation so you'll never be alone during your job search. And finally, if you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications every time I release a new video. And by subscribing, you support me, my message, and this channel, so I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you hit subscribe.